Hey, what's up guys? It's been a minute. It's Ryan Osterkamp coming to you here from Rhino Inc. And we are here for another fireside chat. I just want to give this view outside today. It's beautiful. August 1st. Look at this. Gorgeous weather. Beautiful. Better together. Gonna hop down over here with my fiery goblet of brass and do a quick fireside chat with you guys. And, you know, today I just wanted to talk about the value and importance of seeing a goal through to completion. You know, it's so easy to give up. It's so much easier to throw in the towel. It's so much easier to do what your neighbor, your brother, your coworker, your sister, your spouse, your family is doing and just get caught in the groove that's set for you right this groove that's pervasive like pop culture telling you what you should be doing and how you should be feeling and how you should be thinking and it's this whole hive mind of convenience convenience but you know as they say what is what is the devil of the day the lack of courageousness today the biggest destroyer of mankind is the lack of courageousness. It's 99% of what's going to keep you from going, from deciding, from being who you say and think and feel and what you want to do with your life, who you say you want to become. All these things you know are possible for yourself, but you limit yourself from getting to where you know you should be. Guys, you just you just got to go for it. You've got to go for it and give it your heart and your soul. And you've got to believe that that's enough. You're not breaking Newton's laws. You're not questioning the laws of the universe. You're working within the law of averages and understanding that if you do something for long enough, one out of 10 times, somebody's gonna say yes. It's the law of averages. Don't just take me for it. You can probably find it in one of these books. <laughs> Look it up online. Got a million free Google searches as my very, very significant mentor has always told me. Guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. That's gonna sum it up for this one. I want you to check in. Hope you're doing well in this day, in this age, in this time. Hope you're finding your mind and understanding this level of becoming. The best thing you can hold close to your heart is the Ho'oponopono prayer. Hawaiian Ho'oponopono prayer of, 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 of the moment. Look that one up too while you're at it. <laughs> the Ho'oponopono prayer of gratitude, health, wealth, love, and longevity. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. A full transformation in four statements. Before I eat food, I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Really feel it. Release it. These things we want, the person we're becoming on the path to our goals of accomplishing them. It's always becoming. So you'll achieve some goals and you might even question your own self-worth having accomplished said goals because you now lack purpose. Many of you aren't here yet, but for those of you who are, you know what I'm talking about. And all I can tell you is the best thing is spring comes again. Life keeps going until it doesn't, but life keeps going. And on its path to going, it's remembering where we are and where we're going 
because that's changing constantly. And in its change, we seek what we have not sought. We, you want to become a millionaire and then you become a millionaire. Now what? If your purpose is solely hinged upon this focus, once you become it, you have no purpose. You have become your purpose. You have no target or direction. You need to upgrade your goals. You built one lead generation website. It's time to build two. It's time to build three. It's time to build five. You've built one goal for one facet of life and you think you've done something. You have done something. Pat yourself on the back and keep going. Double down on that because you have to be smarter than your circumstances and what everybody else is telling you to do. Can you handle it? Can you fight through the fire of anonymity? Are you the bitch of your own brain? Are you stronger than your ego? Your dopamine addiction? Or does that shit have you so by the fucking nuts? The real stuff. This is a very powerful tool. Our human brain of ours. Specifically, the neofrontal cortex and the prefrontal lobes and the higher hemispheres. But in the middle, there's this animal, and even further down towards the brainstem, there's this reptilian part of this brain. This animal, this mammalian, this reptilian, this fight or fight, flight or for survival, this fear, this thing that's kept us alive for millennia is right there, grabbing you by the nuts, by your ovaries, ladies. Keep following track here. It's got us gripped by the balls and it wants to pin us down and it wants us to be small and it wants us to fit in. And that's okay, it's heredit hereditarily, it's an amazing, advantageous, accomplishment of a civilization of a species the fact that we can even reflect or articulate on our accomplishment of and progression as a being as a sovereign being of with a, a brain awareness enough to know don't let it get the best of you you see these things you think i sit here my fireside chat to show off you think this is it they, you think i haven't opened these books you think i haven't i haven't read these books have you read these books have you read an article online have you studied your psychology have you studied the four pillars of happiness of a good life health wealth love spirituality of relationships have you documented your progression over one two five ten twenty years and seen what you've accomplished and actually reflected on your past experiences and realize if you check in with your heart that that shit just doesn't fucking jive with you or that it does and actually decided to possibly turn the compass, to possibly try to do something a little bit different and see if you cannot get a different result that makes you feel better, think better, live better, be better, do better, become better, feel better, and just get to point in your life where you don't even need you don't even need so many things right I don't need to rely on doctor to tell me what kind of drug I need to take 
I realize I'm strong enough to determine what I should and shouldn't do with my own body, my own brain, and my own health, that I should probably eat fish oils, I should probably eat protein, I should probably limit carbs, I should probably eat fat and protein, and I should probably eat healthy food, and go figure, I should probably walk a mile or just I should walk around the block every single day. God <laughs> forgive me if I do 20 push-ups every single day for five months straight. F speaking on a health note, speaking on a mental health note on the pillar of health, emotional health, emotional wellness, psychological wellness, physical wellness. Are you well? What's going on in your brain? Are you fucking living someone else's story? Or are you living your own? Is it what they told you you should think and believe? Or is it your own? Have you researched? Have you documented? Have you thought about what if the possibility that your current outlook could be wrong? You could update it and feel better and live better and do better and become better for you, for everybody around you. It's who you become on the path that is the most beautiful, most important thing. I don't feel sadness unless I really deeply need to feel sadness or I put my heart at risk for nothing. For, for guarding your heart, these lessons of life. I'm speaking to a broad audience here and a broad appeal, but guys, these are the fireside chats. If it wasn't here, then how would I be able to give you this information? It's helped me become a millionaire. And now I'm stoked I became a millionaire. I lost my purpose. What do you do? You're lost. You have no purpose. Yes, I wanna help people. But what's my goal? What am I going for? What am I doing? Who am I becoming? What am I being? If I became it, then there's no direction. Let's go with billionaire. Let's go with changing 10,000 lives immediately as a direct result of my heart and my words and us on the phone together, 10,000 lives. How many other million, more millions of other lives in the world my separate companies and impact and philosophy and influence will touch and have an effect on in a positive light. Millions. Thank God, whatever you want to call it. Thank you. Thank me. I'm. It's nice to not feel a sty on the backside of humanity, to not feel like a burden, to not feel like I have nothing to live for and no purpose and nothing to get excited about and nothing that turns me on that makes me feel good and gets me excited to wake up out of bed. Gets me excited to get the day going. You know what a predator is? You don't think people are smart? You're gonna let them kill you inside before it ever manifests outside. <laughs> Guys, I have to wrap up this fireside chat, but it's been great connecting with you on this spiritual, philosophical, and physiological level of understanding and becoming. This path to becoming, so to wrap, be careful who you surround yourself with. The old, the five people you surround yourself with, you will become. They say that for a reason. It's not an absolute truth. It's not an end all be all. Recognize it for what it is. What hive are you joining? Are you part of the wolves or are you part of the lions? Where's your mind at? Are you part of the flies or part of the pheasants? Are you part of the hyenas? Are you part of the fucking Jabberwockies? What, what are you aligning yourself with? And is it taking you to where you want to be going? Because ultimately, 
our potential is worth so much more than what we can physically see around us now. When you really tap into your potential, fuck, maybe you can even become a billionaire. Ryan from Rhino Inc. signing out. From the heart. Lots of love, guys. Take care.